In this video, we will explore what happens to the output of an exponential function when the input changes by two instead of one. So in this applet, I have an exponential function graph shown here. Uh, the name of the function is f, and we're saying y is equal to f of x. And I can vary the initial value of x. And here this first blue segment represents f of x, or the value of y for this initial value of x. We've got the second blue segment represents the value of y one unit later. And then the third blue segment represents the value of y two units after our, our starting value of x. So as I vary this initial value of x, all three of these outputs are varying. And we're representing those as f of x for the initial output, f of x plus one for the output one unit later, and f of x plus two for the output two units after the beginning x. So we'll assume that we have a one unit growth factor of 1.6. So let's write that down. We have a one unit growth factor of 1.6. We'll just assume that. Now what that means is the output of this function one unit later is always going to be 1.6 times as large as that initial output. So anytime x changes by one, y becomes 1.6 times as large. So if we look at these first two output segments, f of x plus one, if we measure f of x plus one in units of f of x to measure the size of that final y in units of the initial y, that relative size should be 1.6 because the output one unit later is always going to be 1.6 times as large as the output at the beginning of the interval. And so we can say f of x plus one divided by f of x is equal to 1.6, which also means we'll also write this as f of x plus one is 1.6 times as large as f of x. Now, similarly, if we vary from this second blue segment, if we let x increase by one again, then from x plus one to x plus two, y will again become 1.6 times as large. And therefore, the measure of f of x plus two in units of f of x plus one will also be 1.6, which tells us again that f of x plus two is 1.6 times as large as f of x plus one. So over any one unit interval, our output becomes 1.6 times as large. So what does that tell us about the, over this in, entire interval, like over this two unit change in X, how does the output vary? So basically what we're asking is how does F of X plus two compare to F of X? What is that relative size? So we know that F of X plus two is 1.6 times as large as F of X plus one. And then we also know that f of x plus one is 1.6 times as large as f of x. So if we move our 1.6 down, we can say that f of x plus two is 1.6 times as large as f of x plus one, and f of x plus one is 1.6 times as large as f of x. And therefore, f of x plus two is equal to 1.6 times 1.6 times f of x, which is really equal to 1.6 squared times f of x, which tells us the output, two units after the initial output, is 1.6 squared times as large as that initial output. And 1.6 squared, 1.6 squared is equal to um, 2.56. So we can say that anytime x changes by two units, y will become 2.56 times as large. So if we go back to our applet over here, this output segment, two units after the start of the interval, represented by f of x plus two, is 2.56 times as large as this output at the beginning of the interval. So it doesn't matter where our interval starts, anytime x changes by two, y will become 1.6 squared times as large, or 2.56 times as large. And therefore, we actually say that the two unit, the two unit growth factor 
for this function is equal to the 1.6 squared, which is also equal to 2.56.